Hey guys, welcome back. I've got the car washed down. I did two washes, one last night, one today. I tack cloth it. I'll probably have to tack cloth it one more time before I start spraying, but I'm getting ready to mix up the epoxy primer that I'm using as a sealer. We got to spray that only a little bit on the car and then the rest of it will get uh, DVC. I'm, I'm sorry, not DVC. It's going to get uh, inner coat clear. which is right here. So first thing we're gonna do is mix up a little bit of the epoxy. It's a four to one mix. We're gonna put a little bit of reducer into it just to thin it a hair. And then once we put this on, we'll clean the gun. Then we'll put on the, the uh, inner coat clear. And then uh, let it sit for a little bit to dry, and then we can start putting on our base coat and blending it into the fender and the middle of the back door. Throw a little bit of reducer in here just to thin it down a hair more. Get my mask on, get this on the, in the gun, and we are going to go out there and tack cloth it one more time, and then we're gonna hit just the primer areas with this. see I put it on real light just to cover up any areas that the body filler was showing through it is not now uh, I did not go past I barely went past where my 2k primer stopped so my sealer stopped right in here a little bit of mist out past that so now we're gonna mix up some of that inner coat clear and we're gonna shoot the whole side with a light coat of that inner coat clear but I gotta get my spray gun cleaned out first. Okay, so the inner coat clear is just a, a two to one mix. Two parts of the inner coat clear to one part of the uh, reducer. This always likes to stick. I hate when it does that. All right, work on getting the lid off here. 
Okay, we don't have to mix up a ton of this stuff. And then um, whatever we don't use, we can pour back into the gallon. Now we're gonna go out there and spray this on the areas where the epoxy primer stops all out to the edge. We're not gonna go over the epoxy primer with it, just up to it. And then after that, we gotta let all this dry. And then we can start, we can tack cloth the car off again, and then we can start putting our base coat on. Now, um, um, we can use this same liner that I have this inner coat clear in to pour our base in so we don't have to throw the liner away. It's not, this isn't gonna hurt it one bit. This is basically what base coat's made out of. Um, you can. You can use this stuff to make color. So if you wanna do a really, really, let's say you have a really, really hard blend to do, you could start with this color, blending it out to the edge, and then you can go to taking some of this color with some of this inner coat clear. You could do a 50-50 mix, and then you could spray it, and then what you have left, you can take that and you can uh, reduce it even more. And what that does is just makes it finer and finer, the color. For blending it out in this case we don't have to worry about that we should be all right but if you do have a really tough blend you can do that method with this inner coat clear so let me get the gun ready and we're gonna go out there and put this on Take about another 10 minutes or so. I'll put the rest of this back into the container. We're gonna, we don't even need to rinse the gun out because this is not going to hurt one bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready. Because like I said, I'm just gonna pour the rest of this back in here. There is a strainer inside these cups. sure it's fully dry before I start putting color over it. I'd like to tack cloth that off. And when we start doing color, we're going to put the color over the whole passenger front door, partially into the back door, and then just around the wheel well on the other side. 
We're not going past that. We're just taking anything that is not the color of the vehicle and putting a coat of this over it. And this is a four to one mix. I'm gonna get this just poured out here. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm sorry, this is a one to one mix. Why am I saying four to one? Um, I'm going to mix this once. This is more than we're going to use. Whatever's left, I'll just pour back in the quart. Um, but I'm going to leave the stick in it because I'm going to have to stir it again before I'm ready to, to paint. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sit out there and then I'll be back. Okay, just remixed up the, the color. Getting ready to go out there. We're going to tack cloth it off. And like I said, we're going to start putting the color on only on the areas that need the color the most. Where the color is, where the car is already this color, we're not going to hit it on the first coat. Good. Next coat, I'm gonna go a little farther. 
kind of still see a little bit of a gray mist out here. So we're going to take it a little bit farther back there and then we're going to start getting into the fender on the next coat a little bit. And we're going to keep continuing to blend this out. So I'm going to give that 10 minutes and we're going to put another coat on. Okay, I'm going to let that set for about 10-15 minutes and then we'll go out there, tack cloth it off and see what it looks like. Now I want to tack cloth it because when you mist out the paint like that, you'll have metallic sitting on top that's actually loose. It's not really stuck to the paint. So you want to go out there and wipe all that loose metallic off of there. Um, I'm pretty confident that it's good where it's at. So I guess if I have to remix some color, I will, but I don't think I will. So I'll be back in about 15 minutes and we'll run the tack cloth on it and take a look at it. Okay, let's see what it looks like here. It looks like the color blended in really nice. So, oh, great. I had to get a new tack cloth. I dropped it on the floor. Okay, let me uh, wipe this down with another one and I'll be right back. Okay, it's all tack cloth off. I think it's good. Mix up some clear, put two coats of clear on this thing and we will be done. I'm gonna be using the Wanda clear again, four to one mix, four parts hardener. I'm sorry, four parts clear, one part hardener, no reducer. So let me get this mixed up 
and we will go out there and put the first coat on. We're going to do a light to medium coat. Let it set for 10 minutes and then we'll do a medium to heavy coat. Okay, first coat's on and it looks good. The blend looks good. Um, I did not take the clear all the way into the corner yet. I'm gonna take my next coat over, try to keep it down a little bit from there and use a little bit of that uh, blender, spray can blender. Got the first coat on the mirror here. Just did that off camera. And then uh, here's the passenger side, first coat. Give it a couple more minutes and we'll put the second coat on.
it just needs to dry now. I blended it out up here right after where the um, pin striping stopped. And I blended it on the bottom of the rocker there. The mirror looks really good. laid out really smooth. So it should be uh, good to go now. So tomorrow I'll put it back together and uh, put it outside and I'll probably just do a real quick walk around video. So that's going to end this video guys. Um, car is painted. Next step just a little bit of assembly and then I am done with it. Oh, you know what I forgot about is the pin striping. I ordered it. I don't know if it's going to be here or not. Um, maybe it's in the mail. I don't know. Uh, so I will probably just do a quick, uh, short walk around video of the car. Other than that, I just need to put the door panel back together, put some weather stripping on, nothing major, and a couple door handles. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys later.